This content may contain footage and events that some viewers will find disturbing. City Safe is a volunteer organisation offering medical, first aid and welfare assistance to the nightlife of Durham. They are a team of advanced first aiders and welfare support volunteers who give their time to help those in need by treating minor injuries at the scene and providing a rapid pre-paramedic response to more serious incidents. PAL TV has gained exclusive access to follow City Safe on a student night out in Durham. As it gets dark, St Nick's Church takes on a new role as the Durham City Safe Hub, where a team of local volunteer medics, police officers and council workers maintain everyone's safety at night in the Durham City area. This effort initially came from the Home Office in an attempt to ensure women's safety at night following the murder of Sarah Everard. Speaking to those involved, they point to the success of this initiative with their work reducing pressure on police response units and ambulances at a time when nationally both are under immense strain. The focus of the City Safe team is around immediate aid, essentially the bridge between first aid and that of an ambulance. Yet the equipment they carry allows them to respond to a variety of injuries and situations from resuscitation to a minor laceration. They also carry a throw bag, a piece of kit that aids in the rescue of people who fall into the river. This piece of kit is critical given several fatal drownings in the River Weir over the past 10 years. At around 10 o'clock we joined the team as they patrolled the city. The first call of the night came in, with reports of a heavily intoxicated male at a nearby pub. After an assessment he was aided by the medics to a waiting taxi to take him home, saving a trip to hospital that is already under significant pressure. About an hour later, the radio comes in with a strange report of individuals making significant noise in the street. In an attempt to discourage antisocial behaviour, the team check it out. <laughs> However, across the city, a person is intoxicated and has fallen down the stairs in a nightclub, briefly losing consciousness and is now semi-responsive. It's decided to bring them back to the safe hub to both get them out of the developing snowstorm and to allow a longer period to monitor them. As the city safe volunteers continue to provide care to the casualty, one of the safe hub team announces that someone is on the wrong side of the bridge. City Safe and the police closed off the road from both sides and after several attempts to bring the man back to the correct side of the bridge, the man relents and is taken away by the police to be monitored for his own safety. Meanwhile, back in the hub, the team attempt to investigate the deteriorating condition of the earlier patient. Following some tests, it's decided that they should go to hospital. However, the wait time for an ambulance is over three hours, even early on a Thursday morning. The shift finally came to an end at 4am as the casualty from the nightclub was taken to the hospital by his friends. Many things were seen throughout this night, whether that be the ability of the team to aid and show compassion to heavily intoxicated patients, or the commitment of these volunteers to stay until the job is done. But if one thing was clear throughout the night, CitySafe save lives. <laughs>